So it's here, it's now, it's game time. Yes. Lost to a team that had bobbed the builder up front. Woo! All right, Tragos, what's happening? The circle of life has begun. It's the same. It's here, it's now, it's game day. We're away for this one. We're off to Victoria Road. It's Dagenham and Redbridge v Barnet in the Vanarama National League. So as two forwards have now been shown the door, with Mohamed Betterman moving to Aldershot Town on a permanent deal, and Jack Barham joining Dorking Wanderers on loan for the rest of the season. I'll look in on you from time to time, okay? It opens up rumours of a new forward coming in. Now, nah, I shouldn't really be telling you this. It will probably get me banned from the hive this time, unlike someone. I can confirm that what you're all seeing on the internet via social media is true. Gary Goals is on trial with us. Reach the voicemail of Gary Goals. I'm not able to take a call right now because I've been playing a match out with a lady or hitting the gym hard. I am a top class striker with a proven track record of scoring goals all over Ireland, all over Europe, especially Ireland. If you know, you know. But anyway, Anyway, that's another chat in bollocks. Let's get into football news! So Dagenham Redbridge finished 18th last season in the National League, where they played 46 times, winning 15, drawing 11, losing 20, scoring 50, conceding 56, giving them a goal of minus 6, and they ended on 56 points. They currently sit 6, and the last 5 games have been 3 wins and 2 draws. And they're currently unbeaten in the last 10. Peter Taylor has been cracking the whip since the 5th of June 2018, where he's now taken 64 games, winning 22, drawing 17, losing 25, giving a win percentage of 34.38. Was 37.93 last time we met. All that money, and it's made you worse. Number 10, Angelo Belanta, who has five goals in 14 games. I don't care about your I don't give a fuck. Oh, shit. Here we go again. The 29th of the 12th, 2018. Dagenham Redbridge nil, Barnett's one. Shaq with the only goal of the game. So, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's get the fuck out of town. Fuck you, Dagenham and Redbridge. You might be unbeaten in 10 now that you're in the new Salford City, but you would always be known as the biggest bottle jobs after losing a title to Boston United back in 2002. You bunch of wankers. Come on, Barnett! Starting for Barnet today, it's unchanged from Tuesday night away to Fylde in our 3 5 2. Loach in between the sticks, your three centre halves of Captain Cannon Reynolds, Dan Sweeney, and Ricardo Santos. Mario Valletti is left wing back, Shay Alexander is a right wing back, Jack and Harry Taylor is your two centre mids, Ephraim Mason Clark as a number 10, and up front, Simon Akinola and Josh Walker. And this is how Dagnan Redbridge line up for today. I'm liking how Dagnan Redbridge is showing their line up. Barnet, take note, don't just use your phone and be lazy. This is how you do it. Well done, best one I've seen so far. If you need any help, this is Hearts of Middelovian as well. This is how they do their team. Instead of just pulling your phone out and doing it. Lazy work. Just gone 28, still nil-nil. A lot of the play straight through the middle, a bit like a chess game at the moment. Neither team's been able to break either one down. It's been quite fast-paced and physical. 27 minutes in, it's still nil-nil. The Dagenham, they've just hit the bar. Play the ball through. Callum Reynolds is ball-watching. Bagley's just lifted it over him. It's hit the bar and rebounded. Lopes pants is on it. I like it. 
that's poor defending by us. About half hour in, it's still nil nil. Dagenham Rebels just hit the bar again. I like it. Blanta with our folly in the box. All watching. Last 10 minutes has all been Dagenham. They're physical and they're playing very good football. We're struggling to match them. 10 to half, it is still nil nil. Dagenham Rebels have had three golden opportunities. Roach made himself big in a one on one to push wide for a corner. I don't know what's the matter with us today. We're up against a fast, physical, big side. We're struggling to get a bit in this game. We need to get foot in it, get a bite in this. Finish it! No! I'll be better than that! 37 minutes in, it's still nil-nil. Our best opportunity of the game. Goal kick from Dagenham with Swinney wins the head. He knocks it down to Shea. Shea hits it long to Josh Walker, who knocks it down to Mason Clark. He's running one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He's only got to beat the keeper. A little chip, composure, slices it. Gets in front of goal. Beer and headlights. 5 to half. it's Dagenham over it's one. It's Barnett nil. It was always coming. It was a great finish by Balanta. Graham crosses the ball into the box. Balanta half volley. We've got about eight players back. Loach gets a wrist on it, but it's into the bag and the net. Go on, Josh. Go on, Josh. Come on, Josh! Yes! 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 Get in there! 42 minutes in, it's Dagen Rivers 1, it's Barnet 1. Josh Walker's pulled us back. Sim flicks the ball on, Josh Walker's running that goal. He's got three players around him. He's twisting and turning in the box. He's knocked it wide. We thought he's overplayed it, but he pops it into the bottom right hand corner. Get in. We're at the 45 minute mark and it's still 1 1. Full fish was just added on seven minutes. Time here at Victoria Road and it's Dagenham Redbridge 1, it's Barnet 1. Even first 10 minutes, but then after that, it was all Dagenham Redbridge and it was just shades of Ebbsfleet on Tuesday night. But a better version being Dagenham Redbridge. They are quick, they're physical, they're strong. They was winning everything. They've hit the bar twice. Loach made one good save, being in a one on one, closing it down. It was just a matter of time before they scored and they went 1 0 up and it was just like, oh, here we go. Second to the ball, second to everything. We went in at 1 0 down. Dagenham Redbridge deserved that lead and we just have a been good enough. Haven't got the fullbacks in the game enough. We need some physical bite and presence in this team. It's not been Akinoda and Walker's game. It's too physical for them. akinoda has been dropping too deep. But then we pull one back with Josh Walker. And then in the last six, seven minutes of that half, we've been the better team. We've then grown into it and grown confidence. We need to close it down from them because they've had a good half. It's only 1-1 and we're still in this. Let's see what that second half brings. Come on, Barnett. Sixty minutes into the second half, it's still one-one. Been off the pace again in the second half. Sluggish, slow. Need to wake up. Sixty-six minutes in, it's still one-one. Jack Taylor should have put us two-one up. Reynolds plays in a thirty-yard ball all the way to the back post. Jack Taylor has half a folly, just goes over. Got to work the keeper from there, mate. About a quarter of an hour to go, it's still 1-1. It's just been very stop-start the last 10 minutes. With players going down injured, I guess it might be a good thing that we're stopping their mentality. A little bit boring to watch now. Into last 10, it's still 1-1. Game has completely fizzled that. The whole movement and momentum has just slowed. Seems like both teams are quite happy just to pick up the point. Into the last five of normal time, it's still 1-1. Dagenham Redbridge in again. We're so high up the pitch and we're flat-footed. It was just route one football. Straight through to a really strong. He's picked out. Of pace. Good thing you can't finish. Into the 90th, it's still 1 1. They've just added on four minutes. Game finished, Dagenham Redbridge 1, Barnet 1. Before a ball was kicked, I would have happily have taken a draw. So when we've gone in at half time at 1 1, where we could have been 3 0 down, I wanted the game to end there and then. Just let me get out with a point, I'll take that. The performance had shades of Ebbsfleet away where we just couldn't do anything. We wasn't doing anything. Dagenham Redbridge was excellent, they set up well, they was fast, they was quick, they were strong. Had three players around us every time that we was on the ball, they just didn't let us create anything. I thought it was going to be a long afternoon when they went wind it up and we was getting bullied all game it wasn't a game for our forwards Sim and Josh wasn't getting any luck at all and there was a few times where we were caught flat footed and ball watching at the back so when Dagenham and Redbridge have hit the bar twice and Loach has made a great save to keep it at nil-nil just praying we can come away with something well we showed good character to get back into the game I'm not too sure what happened in the second half it looked like both teams were happy to settle for a point but as that game went on I thought that we could get something out of this Dagenham and Redbridge were better in front of goal they had a better the opportunities and we we did so it is a good hard-earned point from us it's not bad on paper both of us are in the playoffs so it was always going to be difficult and our next two games as well so i'm happy we got the point dagenham redbridge should be more disappointed that they didn't pick up all three points so now we move on to tuesday night home to bromley you know what to do Ta -da. <laughs>